Hi, I'm Cameron Evans from Redline Synthetic Oil, coming to you today from Camarillo, California at Timeless Customs. Today, we're gonna to talk about the difference between passenger car motor oils, the stuff you would run on the street, and Redline's racing oils, the stuff that you would run strictly on the track. The first of those differences is the detergency and the dispersants, the things that trap contamination in your motor oil as you drive around on the street for 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, if you're a Redline person, 15,000 miles. Very different from what you would see in a racing oil where you don't have those levels of detergency. Why? Well, after all, on the street, you're gonna leave this oil in for a long time. In a race car or in a serious track car, you're maybe only gonna go two or three weekends before you go to change the oil. The other big difference between the street oils and the race oils from Redline is the levels of ZDDP. Now that's the anti-wear additive that you would know as zinc and phosphorus that protect hard, hot metal inside the engine when it's revved up. Cams, bearings, things like that. In the streetcar oils, we've got about 1,200 parts per million. That compares to API certified oils that are at a much lower level than Redline at 800 parts per million. Think about that. What you get typically at the auto parts store and what you order from Redline, you're getting almost 30% more protection just there. Now the race oils, they've got 2,200 parts per million in that ZDDP package. That's way more than you'd ever need or want to run on the street. Now what's the risk of that? Think about it, on the street, you've got emissions equipment, a catalytic converter. If you ever had any kind of you know, breach of ring seal or if the engine was starting to wear itself out, you could get oil past the rings. That oil might contaminate the catalytic converter. If that happened with 2,200 parts per million, there's a chance you could clog the cat. So what are the situations that you might choose one of our street oils versus a race oil? Well, the obvious one is if it's your daily driver. That's gonna be a street car oil all day long. But what if you're a guy that takes your car to track days? You can still run Redline's PCMO oil. Again, 1,200 parts per million of zinc, so there's more than enough protection. Both the race oil and the street oil are made from PAO and ester, right? So you've got the highest quality raw materials to protect you not only on your daily drive, but also when you go to the track. Any of you racers that are only taking a car to the racetrack, well, you're more than eligible to be using our race oil, and that's in drag racing, road racing, circle track, even four-cycle go-karts. We get questions often about how often should I change my motor oil? And we're talking about for the street and for the track. So let's take your street considerations. So if you're the type of person who warms up your car in the morning, gets a cup of coffee, goes outside and commutes, let's say 40 or 50 miles to work, well, you're gonna be eligible for a pretty long drain interval. If you're the type that starts the car, pulls it in gear and only drives five minutes across town, chances are your motor oil never got up to temperature and those dispersants and detergency really couldn't get activated. When it comes to the track, totally different story. We're not very opinionated on when people change out their oil at the racetrack and that's not so much because we want to sell them more motor oil it's more a matter of people are pretty opinionated about it let's touch on oil temperature and what you might experience at the track compared to what you would see on the street remember motor oil 212 degrees that is where a 30 weight is a 30 weight that's when it's that level of thickness take a drag racer for example He's gonna to go to the water box, do a burnout and go stage. He may only get to 100 degrees of oil temperature. So he may select these straight weight products or things that operate a lot more like straight weights in two weight, five weight, 10 weight, very thin motor oils. So when you look at the front of the label on Redline's racing oils, you may see 30 weight race, 40 weight race. Remember, that does not mean that these oil are straight weights. Now, a lot of times you'll see other motor oil brands are coming up with 030s, 040s. They're dropping that oil weight. Well, there's sometimes a little bit of benefit from having that at cold start. One thing we like about Redline's race oils being more of a 1540 is getting up to temperature fast. Remember, the whole goal of the motor oil is to get all the raw materials up to working temperature so that they can do the job you're calling on them for. So let's collect a little bit of what we've learned today. The street oils and the race oils, they're made from similar raw materials, but really just at different levels. And they're very particular about when you should run them. Check out redlineoil.com and use that year make model application guide to figure out exactly which ones fit in your road car and look at the website over on the racing side and figure out which oils might be something for you in case you take your stuff exclusively to the track. Thanks a lot, I'm Cameron Evans.